Uh, there we go. Okay, we're recording now. So, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And oh, and Mrs. Ring is here. Hello. I just just caught it. I just started recording. So hello. Um, and my headset's on just so you know in case the dog comes in and starts barking. So we can because we're doing that today for some reason. So um, it's nice to see all of you. And it is a Tuesday. And of course, I know you know, I have no new information for you regarding when I might see you again. But I get to see you on Zoom like this. So this is this is better than nothing. And so a couple things I want to talk to you about. Today's purpose is I want to get everybody rolling on something we'll do whether we come back to school or not. And you might remember me talking about this. We talk about doing research in class. And I talked about having two options. The two options were, number one was World War II. And number two, the other option was going to be researching uh, American companies, you know, sort of companies that I, I don't want ones based in other countries. We're Americans. So I want to do American countries, uh, companies. And you can pick whatever you want. I know exactly what I'd like you to do. They are different for both of them, though. So they are not the same research paper. I want to repeat that. They're not the same research paper. And I also, I probably shouldn't have even said paper because since we're not together, we have to do it a little differently. And there's different things I'm expecting of you. It's, it's going to be okay. And, and I want to help you with that. So, and I will. So first, let's talk about that. I only see five students here. So thank you for being here. And awful, terrible shame to the rest of the people that aren't here. Here's how this is going. You're here. Maybe you pick a topic today, maybe not. But everybody not here, I'm calling everybody, emailing everybody, talking to everybody. If you were paying attention, you heard Ashlyn and I talking about uh, like what her mom was doing. My wife was doing the same thing, like calling parents and stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing the same thing because it's very important that we stay active, that we stay in contact with each other because school still is not done for the year and I don't think it will be. Even if they tell us we don't have to come back, I think we're still going to be working. So um, we'd like to go through topics today. You five get to pick first because you five were here and then everyone else is going to get whatever they can uh, and we go from there. So I do have an expectation we'll do something, but we're going to start small and go from there. So <clears throat> let's first talk about what I'd like you to do. Your two choices, remember your categories. Category one is do you say anything World War II? So we have boys in the class. Two of them are here and boys like blowing stuff up and things exploding and, and stuff like that. You know, not to be judgmental towards the girls, Shreya and Ashlyn and, and Bougie, Pizza Bougie. It looks like a piece of, it looks like a big pizza you have, Chloris. I don't know if that's a kind of like a uh, Captain's America logo made out of pizza. I don't know. Like, I can't figure that out. <laughs> No, I got it from Voco. I took a screenshot of it. Oh, okay. Is that like the icon for like people whose first name starts with C? No, it's when you master a word, it like gives you a. Uh, oh, a C. I just no, used that. Very good. All right. So you've mastered a C and that's you. All right, fine. Um, so, Clarissa, maybe you like blowing stuff up too. I have no idea. Yeah, it's fun. I play right. Call of Duty. Call it okay. Very, see, okay. So you know what I'm talking about. There was, uh, and Brody and John can confirm this, or Sheree and Ashlyn. There was a Call of Duty for World War II, wasn't there? Wasn't it like oh, Heroes? Yeah. Was it Heroes or something? It was Call know, of Duty it. something. There was like a name after it. I forget what it was. Call of Duty World War II. Um, I got Call the older World one. I had so many people talking at once. I could say again. <laughs> Brody, say again. I'll start with Brody, then Clarissa. Call of Duty World at War was an older World War II game, and then Call of Duty World War II, which is... Which okay. Oh, I thought it had, like, some name, like, Heroes or something like that. All right, Clarissa, can you confirm what Brodo said? Oh, uh, yeah, I have World at War. I actually played it the other day. So. Okay, very good. Yeah, um, now, it's so violent, Cameron should not be playing that game. Oh, he plays worse, trust me. <laughs> oh, well, that's horrifying for all of us. So let's move on to what we're doing. The other choice, if you don't like World War II stuff, was American companies. Uh, now, Clarissa asked me a question, and Clarissa, I've just changed my mind. I, when After I sent the email to you, I'm changing my mind. You said, can I do Tim Hortons? There's actually yeah. two parts to that. Well, Tim Hortons originally is a Canadian company even though it's named after a guy, Tim Orton, who played for the Sabres at that time. Um, but I'm going to say now it's owned by 
uh, American and American company. So Clarissa, I'm going to say yes to that. And Clarissa, I'm also going to let you have it because no one else asked me. So I've had some students emailing me ideas. So Clarissa, you are welcome to do Tim Hortons if you want that. Is that what you want? Yes. Awesome. So that's yours. So we'll move on from there. So there's four students left. I'm going to explain the assignment. So bear with me for a minute. Um, Sheree is often here first. Um, and so Sheree and then Brody will have you guys go for Sheree. Do you have something in mind you'd like to research Sheree? Anne Frank. Anne Frank would be great. And in fact, Anne Frank was on the um, the slide that I found and that I put on in the list online. So Anne Frank is an excellent choice. Shreya, thank you so much. Um, lots of things about her. Sadly, if we had gone to DC this year, which of course we are not, um, at the Holocaust Museum, where we were going, there is a, a section, um, of course, that, that talks about her, deals with her, um, and some really interesting stuff. So Shreya, and Frank is a wonderful choice. So thank you for that. And I want to make sure, did I just mute myself or can you hear me? We can, we can hear me okay, because I, I hit my control there. Uh, Brody, you were also here early. Brody, do you have something in mind that you might like to research? The Holocaust. The Holocaust, okay. And so that's a World War II topic. So let me pause for a second because I haven't heard from Ashlyn, John, or anybody watching this recording. Remember, I am recording this and I will post it. Um, if you have another idea, so for instance, Clarissa suggested something that was not on my list. Awesome, I have no problems with that. So there's many World War II topics. In my time in Panama, I've been there for 20 years now, there are students whose grandpa, or great grandpas, I guess maybe now, served in World War II. And so they were on, for instance, a specific ship uh, in, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. And so they wanted to, to do research on what their grandpa was on, that's great. So that's not on my list, but I totally would accept that. That would be wonderful. So um, Shreya first, I'm saying like this because Shreya is to the left of my screen. When you watch the video, it's like Hollywood Squares. Mrs. Ring might have seen that game show like a long time ago. It was like, Shreya. Uh, she said, uh, and Frank, and then Brody, who's up top over here, um, wants to do the Holocaust, which of course is a great topic and was on my list. So Brody, absolutely, there you go. Now, uh, Miss Weaver, um, you would get to pick next because you were here before John, and of course John's still in space. Has John talked, Brody? Has John talked in three weeks? He I has. Think, I yeah. don't think he said anything in the last three, like our three weeks of time. He's just there. And what, John? Uh -huh. What are you going to say? Hi, John. Yeah, very good. Thank you, John. Very, I appreciate. Very good. Thanks for solving the problem, John. Well done. Hang on, I'll get back to you in a second. Hello, Miss Weaver. Do you have something in mind that you might like to research that you're interested in? Well, the one I was thinking about Sheree is doing, so I'm looking at the thing right now. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm happy to come back. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, take your time. And hold on. If, in fact, now, of course, there's a lot of people not here. Ashlyn, if you can't come up with something, you can let me know by email later, and I will update mm -hmm. a list and send a student. So it's great if you can come up with something now, but you have time. So, um, and I'll talk about all the choices in a second. Uh, again, Sheree has already chosen that one, so I don't want you to do it. I don't want no. I don't want anyone else in eighth grade to do Anne Frank or the Holocaust or Tim Hortons anymore. So once a student chooses it, I don't want anyone else to do it. And Ashlyn, go ahead. You've got your hand up. What do you got? Yep. I think I want to do the, Nuren, the Nuremberg Trials. Okay, Nuremberg Trials are great, and it's, I'm going to be honest with you, the local people in Jamestown, there's the Robert H. Jackson Center, they do some stuff with the Nuremberg Trials. Some of it's a little bit boring, but the trial itself is... Some of it's a little boring. Anyway, so I don't even know if that would be because this thing still dropped. But the point is, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff to it and a local connection. Uh, a man from Jamestown, from Frewsburg, actually, who became uh, a member of the Supreme Court, which is a huge deal. So um, fun story when one of the Supreme Court members came to, um, came to Jamestown uh, for, to, to open the center. They had snipers on all the rooftops because they wanted he, – he's – uh, William Rehnquist was his name, Chief Justice. He's a big deal. And they had all sorts of people geared up to protect him, like on the tops of roofs in Jamestown. It was really cool. I look, look, that's a guy with a gun. Um, so that'll work. Thank you so much. John, John, you're going to have to say more than hello today, John. Do you have a topic in mind, John? John's smiling. Hi. What do you got, John? 
D-Day. Okay, uh, D-Day is great um, as a topic. Um, very scary, very emotional, very uh, uh, violent and whatnot. Um, now, John's got a great point here. So at, at Anne Frank's kind of Anne Frank, but the Holocaust, like Brody, um, and D-Day, these are examples where maybe you could focus on different parts of it. So for instance, if you wanted to do to do D-Day and do the planning of D-Day, let's, I'm going to make up the number, like 5,000 people died on D-Day. The training for D-Day killed 1,000 people. 1,000 servicemen were killed training to go ashore. So there's a lot of different things you could do. So depending on what you want to do, John, maybe somebody else can do that topic. And of course, Brody, huge topics with the Holocaust. There's so much about it. Um, well, I, I would be willing to let somebody else do a different piece of the Holocaust wanted to but we'll go from there so um i think that's everyone has chosen a topic yes unless i'm wrong everyone's got one okay so let's talk about what i need you to do We're halfway through the time period for today what i want you to do this week number one you've chosen a topic that's the biggest thing number two i want you to start looking the open web and when i say the open web that means just a google search that means whatever you want and i want you looking for stuff about your topic. Maybe you'll find some things that are interesting. Maybe you'll find some things that are not interesting and you don't want to do that. You want to focus on something else. Uh, Brody apparently has a book in front of him. Brody, is that a Holocaust book? All right, look at that. Now, is that Anne Frank on the cover? Uh, I, I don't think so. All right. I don't know. It's a young girl. Well, okay. I'm, I don't know what it is. Obviously, Anne Frank is a piece of the Holocaust, but... Um, very different. So, of course, Brody, I should mention, you have to stay away from Anne Frank. Like, you've got to do your thing, and Sheree has got Anne Frank. Okay. Um, so, Brody is actually skipping ahead to the next step where I want you to be looking for other sources than Google, because Google is not great. If you can find a book on the topic, that's awesome. And we have ways to get books many ways. I don't want to confuse people. I don't want to jump ahead, but your iPads have two apps, two, that means this many, hello, two apps that let you get books. And you know about Sora, but there's another one called Libby. Um, uh, Brody, you've got a book already. Shreya, do you have a library card for like Asheville? Okay. Uh, Ashlyn, do you have a library card for either Asheville or points in Pennsylvania? I have one for Asheville, but it doesn't like work. Cause I'll we fix tried that. To multiple times and it just doesn't work. I can fix, that's easy for me to fix because Mrs. Butler okay. and I are friends and we'll get that sorted out. Juan Watson, do you have a library card someplace? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I know Sally does and I bet your mom does, but uh, Sally at the very least has one. Um, and she is, she has access, I believe, she's accessed Libby before. Libby is an app on your iPad, which allows you to um, check out books virtually. Um, again, this is for next week, but that's something else I want you guys thinking about. And Bouge, do you have a library card for one of the local libraries? Uh, no, I don't. There are a couple ways I can solve that. I know, Clarissa, you came from California a couple years ago, so um, I can both get you, could, both get you a local library card. We also can sign you up with a library in New York City, the New York City Mel Metropolitan Library, which is in all the movies. If you've ever seen the movie, I Am Legend, um, I Am Legend, the scene where he's got to kill his own dog, which is really kind of unfortunate. That's right in front of the New York City Metropolitan Mus uh, Library and stuff. So um, or public library. So that's, it's a major famous building in that. stuff. So, so Clarissa, one way or the other, I can definitely get you hooked up and we'll go from there. So um, right now you have your topic. I'd like you to do open web research, which is Google sites, and we'll talk about that later on. So that's the step one thing to do. So Ashlyn, does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. Ashlyn, good. And Shreya, are you good with what we have so far? And John, you good so far? Nodding apparently because he has no thumbs today, which is fine. Brody's got a book, so I think you're fine. Brody, you're good. And then Bouger, you can like tell me. You don't have to like. Uh, you probably, yeah. You probably didn't shower today, did you, Clarissa? Uh, I was gonna right. <laughs> you just like woke up right before the meetup, which is fine. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not taking this hat off, so that's we're not. I don't want to show you what's going on here because you know there's no hairdressing going on in Pennsylvania right now. So I don't know what's happening here, but nobody needs to see it. It's pretty offensive. So, uh, okay, 
I want to stop talking about research. Is there anybody that has a question about research stuff before we move on? No, no. Shreya's singing and dancing. Nice, Shreya. All right. John is in space, Ashlyn, and I don't know what Clarissa is doing. Okay, two things I want to talk about. Um, we have this week's reading for Unbroken. I have previously sent you the link to watch the movie for Unbroken. Does anyone here want to share? Like, yes, you've used the app and watched the video, um, either on your iPad or whatever else. Any of you watched the movie Unbroken on your iPad since I sent that to you? It's a legitimate question because I now can do the same thing. You didn't know this. I told the other class this. Our next book, we are going to try to read The Hunger Games by the end of the school year. We have the, the movie of The Hunger Games set up the same way. So we'll be able to watch The Hunger Games movie on the iPads if you want to. So nobody here has watched the movie yet. See, that's the thing. I, I would definitely play that in class. It's a very good movie. And it's, it's like a Hollywood movie made a bunch of money. So it's not like, you know, a bunch of dudes in their basement with an old fashioned like V. VHS camera that's like this big and stuff like that. It's it's a real movie. Um, so, uh, please, if you haven't, I would recommend watching the movie. Don't forget the reading. Bless you, Miss Ring. Uh, I'm going to some point like next week. I'm going to throw out some questions and stuff about the book that I hopefully you can answer. Um, obviously, again, we're still working. After next week, so next week is um, I couldn't even tell you what day that's going to be. I think it's the first full week in May. After that, um, we have to get you a copy of The Hunger Games somehow, whether it's me driving around the school SUV, you coming to school to pick it up. Uh, we might drop it off in buses. I have no idea. We can do lots of different things, but we're going to be, or I, like I said, I can throw one out the window at uh, Ashland as I go past her house. Um, Shrey, I actually go past Shreya's house too. I can, that's easy. That's right in the side of the road. Um, one way or the other, we'll get you guys books, but uh, understand that's coming up in a couple of weeks too. So um, my goals for today, number one, to get people set up about the research stuff and talk about it. Number two, very quickly talk about Unbroken. And then number three, talk about um, the, the final book of the year, which is um, The Hunger Games. Does anyone have any questions about any of the stuff that we've got going on? We've got about, uh, we're 22 minutes into our meeting. Weaver's got a question, and I'll get hers in a second. Bougie, I can't see you, so you'll have to unmute if you have a question. Ms. Weaver, go for it. Okay, so you were talking about the movie on our iPad, and I was here on the Zoom last week, so I don't really know what's going on. If you could okay. just brief. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. You have an app on your, and I'm unprepared to load it right now. Um, there's an app on your iPad. It's a new app. It looks like a movie reel with a couple mm -hmm. streamers off it. It's blue. And when you, when you click on the link, I gave you a link. When you click on that link uh, in Google Classroom, then what happens is it should automatically, this is the other reason I wanted to know if anybody had watched it, make sure it worked. It does work, but if there's a glitch, we can fix it. You click on that link. And then it will open up that app. And then the app's going to ask you for a password. And I've given, I emailed in Google Classroom, or maybe it was an actual an email. I gave you the log. It's like PanHighKid, and then the, the password, I think, is capital P, PanHighKid2. I think that's what it is. You, it will ask you in that app to put in the password. So you'll have to put that in uh, and then go from there. And, and I, I go back to what I said. Uh, Ashlyn's asking the question, but I go back to what I said. Please check it out. Make sure it works. Um, because the district, we've always paid for it. But the district, if no one's using it, and I mean me, if no one's using it, we won't mess around with the app. Um, and I'd like to use it twice as we end up the year. So that both with uh, Unbroken and with uh, the Hunger Games movie. So, um, Ashlyn, I know you just asked, so check that out if you could. Let me know. Uh, Brody, John, Shreya, Clarissa, if anybody can't access it. It works on my iPad. My school iPad, it worked out fine. It worked on Abby's iPad. She happens to be in my house, so I can check it over there somewhere. Um, I, can, I can ask her to check, too, and it worked. So, But let me know if it doesn't, and then we'll get that taken care of. So, Ashlyn, did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Okay, Thank if you, you can't find, that's fine. If you, you're welcome. If you can't find those emails, simply ask me and I'll be happy to send them to you again. But I, I'm pretty confident I sent them to the class. Shrey is relaxing. Brody is doing something else. John is falling asleep. I don't know. And then Clarissa's Clarissa. Uh, any more questions? 
no, 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 no. All right, so um, you're welcome to go. I want to thank you for being here. As I said previously at the very beginning of this meeting, everyone not here, I start with an email uh, to make sure that what they're doing, make sure they're okay, and then we're calling home, we're, we're doing all those things um, because I do want you guys to be uh, active and working. So um, remember, of course, you can ask me questions at any time, uh, and I'm happy to help. And I look forward to seeing what you're going to find out, what you're going to learn about your topic. So um, I hope you have a fabulous week. I will talk to some of you as the week goes on, and I will definitely see you next Tuesday. Hopefully, some point this week, we get good news about coming back to school, because that would be nice. I would like to come back to school. I bet a lot of you missed your friends at the very least. You'd like to see people at the very least. Maybe you even miss school like people like me and Mrs. Ring, but I bet that you would like to be back. Shreya is a yes. John, yes, no? John is just there and Brody apparently. But Brody, you have your little brother. So think of it this way, Brody. You would have to spend less time with your little brother. Eh. Brody doesn't care. All right, fine. You know, you can make him if you want to. If you get like, you know, those like zip ties and stuff, zip tie the lawnmower to him and make him like mow the lawn. You don't have to work ever again. You'll never have to work. It's almost like using him as like a mule or like a goat maybe because goats can be trained to do stuff. Um, but to Brody, have you thought of doing that or not? No. No. Okay. All right. Well, listen, you, you do whatever you want to do and it's all fine. But you know, there's taking advantage. I know John does this with Toby. Isn't that slavery? So it's Isn't, what's that? Isn't that slavery? No, because they're family members. No, it doesn't Illegal. Count. No, yeah. it's totally legal. No, it's no, it's now okay. Hold on, hold on. If he gets hurt, it's illegal. But as long as you take care to make sure he's fine, then it's so you know because they've got that thing on the lawnmower when you let go of the handle, it shuts off, so you can't get hurt. You just fall down and look silly. That's all. Oh, yeah. uh, but John, I assume that you're doing that with Tobias. Oh yeah. Well, see, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, well, you got to hitch that kid up to a wagon. He's got to work, man. Otherwise, he can't be the second destroyer. That's how yeah. that goes. So. It's going to get the leg strength. Never skip leg day. That's what it is. Um, all right, you guys frolic and things like that, and I'll look forward to seeing your stuff, and I'll make sure that I tell Amy to hitch Tobias up to a wagon. We'll see how that goes. Um, that's what Mrs. Ring does with her dogs, but that's a whole other situation. See, she's nodding. She knows what's up. You can get them. You can, they can mow the whole lawn here. It's fantastic. Then they poop on Just it too, it but go. that's a separate problem. Well, you know, goats will eat all the grass. Just I want some grass. No, I don't want, I want some grass, not all grass gone. <laughs> you get fertilizer. I don't want goat poop on my lawn because there's no lawn and then there's goat poop. It's like I go, it goes from green to brown or dark brown. So, all right, get out of here. Let's talk about goat poop now. All right, you guys have a great week. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye.